हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ आवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वेर वी डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट क्लासेस एंड ऑब्जेक्ट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ क्लास हाउ टू क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट व्हाट इज अ इनिट फंक्शन एंड व्हाई वी आर यूजिंग इट व्हाट आर द ऑब्जेक्ट मेथड्स विद सम सिंपल एग्जांपल्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू मॉडिफाई और डिलीट द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड हाउ टू यूज द पास स्टेटमेंट विद सम सिंपल एग्जांपल्स so in the previous lecture we have seen what is a init function but you might be confused with the self which is nothing but a self parameter is a reference to the current instance of the class and it is used to access the variables that belongs to the class so it does not have to be named self you can call it whatever you want but it has to be the first parameter of any function in the class so i hope you got the better understanding why we are using the self parameter here so our first topic is how to modify the object properties so we can modify the properties as given in this example where we have modified the age of an object p1 to the 40 so first if we have to create the class object and if we have to use the init function to assign the values to object properties we have discussed that in the previous lectures let me show you with some simple examples so in this example we have created the class named students and we have created one object named p1 where we have passed the values for the name and grade so now let me modify the grade of p1 object to a to do that we just have to use like p1 which is a object name dot grade and just use the assignment operator and use the value that you have to update so we will use like a after hitting enter now our object properties has been modified to validate this use the print command to print the result so just give print the object name which is p1 dot grade after hitting enter as you can see the grade has been changed from b to the a so our next topic is how to delete the object properties so we can delete the properties on objects by using the del keyword as given below so in this example we have deleted the age property from the p1 object let me show you with some example so in this example we are going to delete the grade property from the object p1 so to do that we have to use the del keyword so give like del the object name which is p1 dot the property that you need to delete so the property will give like grade after hitting enter as you can see we have deleted the grade property from p1 object so when we try to print the property like print p1 dot grade it will definitely throw an error by saying like students object has no attribute as grade so this is how we can delete the object properties our next topic is how to delete the entire objects so we can delete the object by using the del keyword as we have seen in the previous example where we have deleted the object properties so in this example we have deleted the object p1 let me show you with some example so in this example we have created one class students and we have created one object p1 so to delete an object we just have to use del keyword to do that just use del and the object name p1 after hitting enter the p1 object has been deleted it is so simple let me validate this so we will try to print the p1 object so as we have deleted the grade property we will use like name after hitting enter as you can see it is showing error like name p1 is not defined as we have deleted the entire object and our last topic is the pass statement so the class definition cannot be empty if you have a class definition with no content put the pass statement to avoid an error let's consider you have a class named person which has no content then we will use the pass statement to avoid getting an error 
so let's consider you have a class named customer give the colon which has no content so after hitting enter as you can see it is throwing an error like expected and indented block but instead if we use the path statement so for this we will create one class named customer after giving an indentation we will give like pass after hitting enter as you can see it is not throwing an error so when our class is empty to avoid an error we use the pass statement so i hope you understood what is a self parameter its significance how to modify the object properties how to delete the object properties also how to delete the entire objects and the pass statement and why we are using it with some simple examples so i hope you like my video so please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to get the latest updates